Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2012 Nissan Rogue. This one is a front wheel drive SV model. As you can see it has a super black exterior which looks very nice on the vehicle. This one does have some exterior accents as you can see. Your very nice little wing up on the top there. It is equipped with the factory roof rails, tinted windows, and it also does have chrome door handles and chrome trim down below which give it a very very nice look. Along the back you can see your single port exhaust. As I mentioned this one is a SV trim level. And right here you do have your Rogue badge, more chrome accenting along with your intelligent key access on the trunk and a rear backup camera. On this side this one is equipped with Firestone FR710 tires. They are P225 60R17s so 17 inch alloy wheels. They are nitrogen filled as well. On the side, you have chrome door handles and your intelligent key access on the passenger side. Up front, this one is equipped with halogen headlights and your very nice chrome grille. It's actually just a very, very sleek looking vehicle. Coming up to the key fob, you have your lock, unlock right here, and panic down below. And this one is equipped with intelligent key access. So all you have to do is come up to the door, have the key fob on your person, press once to unlock, just like that. And then to lock, you can just close the door and press it again. So we'll go ahead and step inside. As you can see, this one is equipped with a very, very nice light gray cloth interior with your very nice woven material in the middle of the seats that almost has some blue accenting to it. And it is a full power driver seat on the SV as well. Coming inside. Go ahead and start it up. Just put your foot on the brake and turn right here. Make sure the key fob is in the vehicle. To start, all you have to do, go ahead and close the door. And inside of this Rogue, as you can see, this one does have the standard steering wheel, which is a very, very nice material, very easy to hold on to up here of your sport grips on the wheel and it has very nice and smooth power steering. Along here you have your audio system controls, Bluetooth voice commands and all of that and over here is your cruise control. Along the door as you can see everything is very nice soft touch material up here. You have your chrome door handle right here as well as your power windows, automatic down driver side, power locks and your power mirror controls are up here. Traction control on and off and your fuse panel is behind that. Down there is your parking brake, push on, push off just like that. You do have some storage down here as well and on the door as I mentioned it's soft touch material up here and you do have your very nice padded cloth on the door. Along the dashboard in here it's all very nice soft touch high quality material. In the middle you do have your uh, tachometer on this side, your speedometer on that side and in the middle you do get a little multi-function display which will display your distance to empty and you can go through your settings different things like that. As you can see, this one does only have 40,000 miles on it as well. In the middle, you do have your two air conditioning vents, and this one is equipped with the premium audio system down here. With this actually very, very nice infotainment system, you have your AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in. Over here, all your different controls, your uh, seat, category, iPod, menu, back. And it's actually very responsive, even going through just your settings and stuff like that. And it's a very, very nice full color display. But as you can see, it's very responsive. It's a nice system. Down here you do have your presets, your auxiliary in, and all of that. And you can just turn it off. Down here you do have your single zone climate control with air conditioning and all of that. And one thing I like is this vehicle has a massive amount of fan speeds. It's very nice rather than most cars which will just give you like four or five settings. Down here this one is equipped with the continuously variable or CVT transmission. As you can see Go ahead and put it in reverse. It is equipped with a backup camera with your trajectory lines and all of that. You have a power outlet right there. So is your passenger airbag going and off. Back here, you can see your sport mode. And it does have your cup holders back here, which actually have this lining that you can remove if you need to clean it or fit larger items in here. You have a padded armrest back here, along with some storage inside of there, your USB and a power outlet. It's a very nice deep center console as well. Up here, interior lights, sunglasses storage, and your manually dimming rearview mirror. 
Overall though, it's a very nice vehicle. As I mentioned, you do have a power driver's seat and these seats are very nice, soft material and it has a very, very comfortable and easy to see out of driving position. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, unlock the doors and release the hood right here. Go ahead and step into the back seat on this one. And as you can see, everything follows through in the rear. Right here, you can pop the seat up and drop it down and you will have a flat loading floor. Go ahead and step in. And the back seat, just like the front seats, is a very nice soft material. I mean, you just basically sink down when you sit in these seats. And as you can see, you do have tinted windows in the rear. And on the door, you do have a nice padded cloth armrest. Along with up here, you have your handles. And your back seat pockets on both sides. In the middle, you have slide out cup holders. And right here, you can pull that and you do have a little hook on the seat. Coming around to the trunk, as I mentioned, it does have your intelligent key access right there, or just reach under and press right there to open it. And for a small SUV, this vehicle has an excellent amount of trunk space. As you can see, it does come with the original Rogue uh, trunk liner and your two rear floor mats up there. Underneath of here, you have a storage compartment and your hooks for your cargo cover right there. It's in very nice shape. On this side, fuel cap right here. And up front, you do have a manual passenger seat. And inside of here, which one thing I did notice on the vehicle, the way the glove box kind of slopes in to the dashboard, you have an excellent amount of space on the passenger side, even with the seat far forward. Inside of here, as you can see, you do have some storage, as well as all of your owner's literature right up here. So it does include all of that. Go ahead, reach up underneath of the hood. This one is equipped with Nissan's 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder engine running absolutely excellent and paired to the CVT it moves the vehicle pretty well go ahead step back inside of this one you one last shot of the interior Go ahead and put the automatic driver's side window back up. And right here, just cut the vehicle off. Make sure you remove the key fob. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.